Hello everyone and welcome to my new video where I decided to look at my personal build that's been built two years ago actually it's two, more than two years old at this point and how it's holding today because I'm not sure I'm completely happy with it to be honest so the ultimate question am I happy with, with the PC well the short answer is kinda the long time the long answer we're gonna get to that so what's my build? I have 5900X and 2080 Super with 32 gigs of crucial 3600 memory. So that's for that's for starters. That's that's the broad stats. And actually starting with the CPU, so I got 5900X, which is 12 core, 24 thread CPU on AM4 platform. It's been honestly, honestly. It's been a pain in the ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that, but I've had so many problems with the CPU. I don't know if they are caused by the CPU or the VRMs on the, on the motherboard or something like that, or the motherboard has part in it. But after I built it two years ago, uh, the CPU died like five, five days, five days into the build. Like after just after a couple of days, it just completely died, and I even underclocked it, because I wanted to. Uh, my original goal was to build a very good PC, was to build an overkill PC for my needs, and for me to just underclock it, to lower thermals and everything, to lower fan noise, to make to make it quieter, to make it. <laughs> less power hungry and stuff like that more efficient more power efficient so i almost immediately disabled the automatic overclocking that has amd built in into the board into the bios and underclocked it to about 4k 4, 4 gigahertz which it, it's still running even this even this cpu and it died after five days, I mean, I did. Obviously, obviously, I pushed it the first day a bit, a bit. I didn't really overclock it much. <laughs> I did it slightly. Overclocked it the first day. I did some benchmarks. Yeah, was really happy. <laughs> then I underclocked it to save, uh, to save thermals and everything. <laughs> to save the energy a bit. To also make it a little bit more reliable and then it died after five days so I don't really understand how that happened but my second GPU a second CPU after a month uh, after I under underclocked it again I didn't even push that second CPU because I was just like a little bit sass about it, about the motherboard I think the motherboard might still be a culprit all over for that but I'm not entirely sure Maybe it's pushing a little bit more voltage than it's measuring or something. Uh, but yeah, even the second CPU started started being super unstable after like a month into the build. Uh, after I waited a month for the replacement for the CPU, which was, yeah, great, great job retailers, yay! <laughs> Waiting a month for a CPU, for a replacement CPU that cost me, uh, what was it, $700, $600 at the time? It was 14, 14k, for 14,000 check rounds, which is about $600, I think. It was a brand new CPU, yeah, and I waited a month for a replacement, yeah, just slight rent over. So then I actually had to increase core voltage a bit. I left it at four four gigahertz, so it's still running four gigahertz as you as you will see. Uh, it's supposed to boost up to four point eight, according to the spreadsheet. <laughs> and it's based at three point seven, so four gigahertz is nothing for the TPU. It should handle it without a sweat, and even yeah, but it just. I had, to, I had to increase core voltage for it to be stable at, at a lower frequency. It's super, super strange. But it's just my rent over on the CPU side. I think 
Uh, so, I think you also the water cooler that I chose is not really ideal for that on the CPU. It's not. It's not enough. Two forty red might not be enough, but we'll get to it. Then I got this X570 gaming gigabyte motherboard in it, which I went ham with the uh, with the motherboard. Well, I just wanted something beefy. It has twelve VRM, twelve stages. I mean, come on. Twelve stages should be plenty. As a power delivery stages for for the CPU, it should be enough to smooth out the power. So I'm not sure. Might be the motherboard is kind of in it in my <laughs> in my Dutch CPU and half Dutch second CPU because it's the is is the common part that's been around with it. I doubt is the power supply because the VRM should be able to smooth it out well faces. 12 phases is more than enough. Yeah, it has some RGB on, on it and, and everything. But I have all the RGB actually is turned off in my case. <laughs> I have RGB fans and RGB strips uh, on my memory. Well, actually no. My memory is RGB less. <laughs> I'm joking. But on my on my blog for uh, uh on the liquid cooler, the EVGA logo glows in a in the RGB fashion, and I have all of that turned off. So yeah, it's a it's a solid board. I still have, I still can do some expansion. I wanna build a new PC at some point. So yeah, 5900 X for this motherboard works fine. I'm not sure. I think I might have like being super unlucky either with the bending of the cpu or having two two bad samples of the cpu even though they were they were a month apart they might be from the same batch who knows who knows who knows who knows really then i parted it with with this water cooler it's an evga clc 240 aio it's been it's been running fine but I'm not sure it's enough to handle 5900X. It doesn't actually say what's its rated power coverage up to. <laughs> but yeah, the fans are super silent, I would say. I can't really hear them. I have them as a as a pull fans behind behind the radiator and then I mounted the radiator on the front of the case. So yeah, I don't. It's a nice cooler. I'm just not sure it's enough to handle a 5900X. Cause when I overclocked it a little bit, I was hitting TJ Maxx. I was, and I couldn't really, yeah, <laughs> and I couldn't make a stable overclock without hitting TJ Maxx. So I couldn't push it fast far enough. Then I got 32 gigs of Crucial Ballistics CL16 3600 memory. I just got the non-RGB version of them. But they're super nice. They're CL16 and 3600, so a fast memory. Ryzen always benefited from faster memory. So that's where, why I ran with it. Then I got 980 PCIe 3.0. SSD as my main drive, as my main system drive. As you can see, this motherboard has two M.2 slots, one with a heatsink, that's where, where the 980 Samsung drive is. It's my main drive. Then I got a gigabyte to two terabyte in the second slot just for just for programs and games and stuff and for other data. Uh, I believe the second slot is only PCIe 3.0. But my, all my, both my drives are PCIe 3.0. I didn't really see a benefit in PCIe 4.0. I mean, yeah, you get, you get more, you get better speeds. But the booting speed was completely fine, even with the PCIe 3.0. Like my motherboard is capable of PCIe 4.0 in that one slot, at least. 
So I could always swap it, but I never did. I never did. And this, like this drive, I've had for more than two years and it's been super, super, super stable. It's reliable. It's good. Samsung. <laughs> and then I got 180 Super. Yeah. Uh, it was a pain to get it. I had to get a used GPU because there was no, there were no GPUs on the market when I was buying this, when I was building this PC. So I got a second hand 2080 Super for about 600 as well, about the same price as the CPU, which I thought was a good deal. And it was at the time, considering there were no GPUs really, it was a good deal. It's been running fine. But, but as you can, uh, as you will be able to see, I got some benchmarks I've ran and maybe I should consider repas repasting it and cleaning it more thoroughly, changing thermal pads because it's been running rather hot, unfortunately, <laughs> as you will see, otherwise this uh, GPU is relatively fine. Like it's not the best these days. 3070 will smoke it, 4060 Ti will smoke it, <laughs> maybe even 4060, no 4060 won't because of the, uh, of the memory bus, it won't smoke it, but otherwise it would. So it's not really the best of the best uh, currently, but it's three years old these days, so yeah. It's still fine. Like I can run Cyberpunk as you will see. Uh, so I guess let's get to the benchmark since I'm talking to uh, talking about them anyway. Firstly, I ran Cinebench. I should be hitting uh, more than twenty k easily, but I'm not. Just thanks to the thanks to me undercooking it, and thanks to stable issues I'm going I'm getting. Otherwise, it's not even hitting seventy c at this configuration it's pulling at most 100 watts which is completely fine for the cpu tj uh not tj max tj max is obviously 90 and 70 even considering it's <laughs> the benchmarks when were run in a in a weather that's that's covering us right now it's it's been like 35 c outside and uh, and all sorts of that so it's been super hot in this room and it's still only running 70c with 100 watts yeah yeah oh you can't see yeah oh. i shouldn't move myself maybe <laughs> but i think you can <laughs> 70c okay there was multi-core single core i should be getting more than that like 1308 it's no, it's nothing to write home about, but it, it didn't pull any power considering it only, uh, it was only, only utilizing one single core, one single thread. Then I ran Geekbench. I should be getting slightly higher scores, but yeah, yet again, that's thanks to my underclock in it to me underclocking, underclocking the CPU. So the CPU is running lower than it could and than it should. And that's one of the main ripes of it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm starting to get tired and I don't really want to push this build onto someone I like because they might have issues with it. So I'm just gonna, I think when I'm, when I'm gonna build a new one, I'm just gonna sell this one parts maybe yeah. I'm not sure yet <laughs> so yeah then I ran a 3 mark times by I got 11 394 you can see the average for for this for for this configuration is almost 12k and I'm and below that obviously I think the GPU is hitting a TJ max as well which you can, I don't know if you can see it here. Maybe I didn't screenshot it, but I was running a hardware monitor and the hotspot was hitting 105 degrees, which is not good in the long run. 
So I should really consider, consider repasting it and cleaning it more thoroughly. Oh, I got it. Yeah, 106. 106 on the hotspot. That's not really okay. <laughs> That's not really okay. That's not okay. So, I will have to do something about that in the future. As you can see, I'm not. Re I haven't really overclocked the GPU at all. I'm not even running. Maybe I am running custom pen loop, pen curve, but it shouldn't really make me hit 106 on the hotspot. That's just too much. This is that's cyberpunk, I believe. Yeah, yeah. This is a cyberpunk benchmark, which I ran. It was on what preset? Uh, <laughs> I think it was high, high. I think it was high, high fourteen forty p without the LSS or ray tracing. I got sixty average, which is nothing, and uh, nothing to write home about. Like sixty FPS on high settings, not even not even the highest. Yeah. <laughs> This GPU is getting old. Shadow of the Tomb Raider was highest, uh, highest preset. I remember that very well. Highest preset without art, uh, ray tracing or DLSS. And it ran relatively well. 102 average, 95 percentile, 86. Yeah. So it's decent, it's definitely playable. <laughs> Average FPS, 100. That's definitely playable. And that's about it. I then ran... Uh, one more. Benchmark. I ran Hitman. On a medium preset, on 1440p. And that, ra that ran at average 120 FPS. The Dark Moor, 1. Which is still playable, but it was on medium. Which is, yeah, that's very playable. <laughs> so I guess, to conclude this, am I happy with this build? Well, as I said at the beginning, Sora is getting old. And it needs a little bit of maintenance from my side. Like repasting, repasting the CPU maybe, potentially. And the GPU, the CPU is running fine. But the GPU is having slight, slight issues. I should really look into that. Otherwise, it's still decent. I have 1440p monitor, so as my main gaming monitor. So it's plentiful fast for that bill these days. So yeah, as I said, kinda, but it's not. It's not a top of the line as it once was. So that's about it. <laughs> it was a little a handy video but that's my thoughts about my personal rig and my plants so if you liked like if you have anything to say just comment below maybe even subscribe if you really like this content and i'll see you some other time Bye.